now finished rigging the um, front anchor this is done by the 200mm piece of thread on the um, the uh, ring being tied around the cat head and then the um, this end is tied around the bit behind the uh, carronade and then this um, block is pulled through here into the hole and then tightened so it comes through here through the pulley and around the um, bit behind it and then lastly we have the main rope which goes which is slacks down and it goes into the um, the horse hole the outer one from the middle as you can see now that that's done I'm going to do the um, back anchor and this is done by tying two pieces of thread around the anchor and just securing it on with the two bits and when that's done I'm going to repeat the steps on the other side and that should be it um, I've tied the anchors on both sides of the ship now and I've also added the yards for both the yards on the um, sorry the braces on the yards for both of the um, yards on the uh, bowsprit this is done by wrapping a piece of string around the ends going through the double block down behind one of the uh, eye bolts at the bottom of the um, fighting top and then down to the um, I forgot they're, what they're called but these knee parts and it's done the same for the other side and then the top yard's done exactly the same but through the inner hole and the inner eye bolt down to the same area what I'm going to be doing now is doing the 28 foot pinnace which I believe I've completed but all I've got to do is add pieces of planks onto it and when that's done I'm going to be moving on to rigging the davits Okay, so I have now added the spine and the floorboards onto the 28 foot pinnace, 18 foot pinnace, sorry. And we're now going to move on to the davits. Okay, so the davits have been created by getting a 3 by 3 mil piece of wood, thinning it down near the end so it can fit over the davit hinges, uh, and securing 2 by 2 mil triangles, which have been cut out and then fitting eye bolts to the side and then um, the davit hinge goes on the end of this davit and then a nail is put through to make a hinge and secured on as you can see like here and we're also fitting two eye bolts one here and one here and then we're going to rig a an eye bolt from here to here and from here to here, and from there to there, to make like a a um, a like a half an octagon, if you know what I mean. And then, and when that's done, we're going to tie the ends, tie 0.25 mil natural thread around the ends, and it will go around the mizzen down to the other side and be connected again um, to allow it to be lowered. And that's about it. Um, when that's done, I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll move on to the other side. Uh, I am doing these in raised position, and there are a few separate steps if you want to do them in a lowered position, but I think this looks a lot neater. So, yeah. I have now built the boom, which is made by adding a hook on the end and bands of metal around it secured in place on the chain rail support and um, that bit is finished as you can see on this side 
and I've also secured the barrels in position, paint the bottom beams black. All I've got to do now is repeat the steps on either side for adding the boom and the davits. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to add the eye bolts to the hole, which are just added in the positions shown in the instructions. And then when that's done, I'll repeat the steps on the other side. And when that's done, we'll be moving on. Okay, so now all the um, boom kins and davits are in place, as you can see. I've added all the eye bolts necessary to the side of the hole. Um, what I'm going to be doing now is rigging the um, boom king stays which is literally done by securing one string to the eye bolt and then through the uh, block back down to the other eye bolt it's just that simple what I'll do is repeat the steps on the other side and then we'll be moving on to the lower main mast uh, braces as you can see the boom kins are now rigged now, the last piece of mast rigging which you've got to do is the main mast uh, braces, which is done by tying a piece of 0.25 mm thread around the side bolt through to the uh, a block which we're going to add onto the mast for to make the. There it is, right there brace it's going to go through there back round to through the pulley onto the butterfly um, holder and when that's done I believe we're going to be moving on to adding the final flags and decorational pieces and things like that and then hopefully that will be the ship finished and we will actually move on to making the um making the uh um decorational pieces like the boats and things like that so yeah okay so i've now fully added the stays for the main mass now what we're going to start doing is adding the flags um what we're starting off with is the first Union Jack, the larger one, which is just fitted to the top with a couple of attachment points to the main mast and the um, shrouds. And when that's done, um, it's the flag is trimmed and just put into position folded in half because it's a sticker that you have to fold in half so it sticks to itself like so to make a flag um and once done she looks like and we'll be moving on to the saint george's cross the time as you can see the union jack is now in place what i've done is wet it in a bit of tea very light tea and creased up and i'm now going to do the same with the saint George's flag, the biggest one, but it's going to go on the foremast now instead. Okay, so I've now added the Saint George's flag and the Union Jack on the pulse sprit, which is done by putting it in the middle of a single piece of thread and then tying it through the block down onto the eye bolt on the jack staff. Now what we're going to do is start making the white ensign on the mizzen which, I'll, which I will rig first and then show you after because it is quite complex. Okay after a long process I've now added the chain rudder for the rudder which is done by securing it with an eye bolt. As you can see I've now secured the rudder chain which is done by adding eye bolts to the sides and the Mizamaz chain rails and attaching it to the eye bolt on the back of the rudder same on the other side what I'm going to be doing now is adding the Victory decal which is right here as you can see 
It's just stuck on here at the bottom. It's water decal. And it, we're then going to go over it with some um, clear mat. Um, uh, finish to seal it onto the actual surface. 